Hello Virgos, welcome. Uh, last reading I did, I was getting a strong energy that um, you, it seems like a lot of you do have love coming in. Um, you need to stop playing small and you just set yourself free from something. And when you do, your soulmate is going to rush in. It's just like this, it, it's like you've manifested love. There's just this one little thing. Um, and I think it has to do with, you know, confidence and self-worth and um, just being your true authentic self. It's like you need to be your true self, true self so that your person can recognize your energy you know like if they see you out in public so it's really just about being true to yourself being you know be as weird as and creative as you want to be you know that's what's going to attract your soulmate so what is the story now two of pentacles queen of wands the seven of pentacles the three of cups You might meet someone at like a party or a social gathering. I also take the Three of Cups to be in this particular context saying that you, um, there might be like a social invitation or some kind of social gathering in the near future. Um, I feel like this is something you've worked for. There's some kind of, some kind of, well, it, it's, I could also take it to be like a celebration of some sort. So Seven of Pentacles is fighting for something that you want it's you know willpower and and strength and um you know look at her like she's he or she is like bleeding for this this is this is someone that's really you know earned everything that they have they've had to fight hard for the life that they have um and this could be one particular thing that you put a lot of energy into so it kind of seems like you're finding a balance and you're coming into your power here and with the Three of Cups, you might have some kind of social invitation. invitation. Um, this may, I would also take this to be, because this group, I channeled that kind of energy, you know, like that, see like the white rabbit down here and the, the tea party and all that, like that kind of creative, just, you know, interesting, strange, unique energy. Like I love that kind of energy. And it's like when you're in that energy, you're being your true self and that's, this energy, like if you look, look, look at the picture, look at like the, the energy of the picture. When you're in this energy, like when you're being your artistic, creative, unique self, that's when you're going to manifest your soulmate. You know, like you're, you're not meant to go along with society's standards. You're meant to, to stand on your own and, and do your own thing. You know, you're, you're an innovator. You're, you're meant to create something new. Um, and I think you're starting to realize that. And as you realize that, you're going to manifest your soulmate and you're going to have, um, you're going to be in the public eye, I feel, for some of you as well. Like you're going to have rewards coming for for being willing to um, to be creative and push yourself out of your comfort zone and be true to yourself, no matter what anyone around you thinks. You know, and some people will judge you. Some people will think it's too much, but those aren't your people. You know what I mean? Like, that's not your soul group. Those are people that you want to just leave in the past. Um, you you want people in your life that are going to love you for who you are, no matter how different that is. Like, the right people are going to love that weirdness and the, the artistic side of you and the creativity and the the passion and the emotion, all of it. it it's It's not going to, it's only going to be too much for the wrong people, you know what I mean? But to the right people, it's gonna be absolutely perfect. Like someone's gonna be turned on by that. I think this is the energy group where I was getting like, you know, like go wear that corset dress out to the grocery store. And like, yeah, a lot of people will stare at you. A lot of people will talk. So what? Like you're gonna, you're, you know, your soulmate will be there though, or someone from your soul group. And they'll be like, oh my gosh, that's like amazing that you're, you're willing to wear that corset dress out in public. Did you make it yourself? Like they're gonna have all these questions. Like they're gonna, they're gonna be so turned on by it. And it's like, boom, you just met someone from your soul group, you know? And that one person is, is worth all the other hundred people that were gossiping or staring. It's like, it's worth it to find those, to find your soul group, you know what I mean? So you need to, to be willing to stand out and be brave and be your true self. You know what I mean? Like go all out with it, you know? Don't hold yourself back anymore. But yeah, I really feel like once you do that, that's when your soulmate's coming in. And I think you guys are starting to do that. I think there's some nervousness, but I think you're you're coming into your own energy more and more and 
reclaiming your free spirited creative side. But I do, I do feel some kind of celebration here, or maybe for hard work that you've done, or maybe like a social invita invitation. Five of Swords. The star. Yeah, you're not even you're you're gonna get to a point where you're like not even letting the haters phase you anymore. It's like you see these people are like defensive, they're trying to stab you in the back, and you're just like you're above them. You know what I mean? Like you're rising above that energy. You're realizing these toxic people are not for you anymore, and you're planting seeds and you're manifesting love. So if you're doing magic to manifest like your soul group or people are true love or whatever it's it's working you know the seeds are being planted the universe hears you right now they when you when you say you know what i don't want the, the five of swords energy type people like anymore i don't want the toxic people i want i i'm willing to go down my own path now even if it means some of you it's like you're living with family and they judge you for um practicing magic or they judge you for the way you are or something and it's like you know what, like you might have to move out, you might have to move out and do your own thing. And yeah, it's scary, but it's so worth it. Like, you're not obligated to those people. And some people, for some of you, like your biological family might not be your soul group. Some people aren't born into their soul groups, you know, so like if someone's not resonating with your soul, it's okay to cut them out. If someone's toxic, it's okay to let them go and move forward. And you know, you might go through this period where you're like, okay, well, what do I have now, though? Like, like, you know what I mean? Like loneliness, but it's like you're planting the seeds and you're manifesting true love. So you're good. Like you're going to have love coming to you. Okay. What can you tell me? So this is similar energy to the um, last reading. You know, you guys are still kind of, it's a process, but what can you tell me that we didn't already get in the last reading? Like what, where is this? I mean, you're further along, like you're actually taking the steps now I feel to make this a reality and you're the magician, you know what I mean? Like you're, you might be studying, maybe there's something that you're meant to study, you might want to focus on studying right now, they're like studying um, like art, like maybe there's like a certain um, artistic talent that you have that's kind of undeveloped, like maybe you want to start sewing clothing or something and maybe it's time to do that, there's time, it's a time to to study. Yeah, you're wrapping up. I keep getting a lot of karmic cycles are wrapping up for people. Um, I don't know what it is. I guess maybe because Mercury is in retrograde and now we're coming out of that and all planets are direct. But with the wheel, I feel like some kind of cycle is ending. Yeah, the sun, you're moving forward. You're really, you're coming out of this energy. You're finding a way out. Six of cups, nostalgia. Six of Cups, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Hmm. For some of you, it might be kind of hard to make a choice because you have multiple options and there's like a sense of nostalgia. But like what is going to get you in your Queen of Pentacles energy though? You know what I mean? Like stability, happiness. Um, the life that you want is is listening to other people's opinions really going to get you there. You know what I mean? Like is staying stuck in the same toxic living situation or around the same toxic judgmental friends or family members. Is that really going to get you to where you want to be? Um, so you need to ask yourself these questions and kind of pull away from the nostalgia because some of you are holding on to how it could be or how it used to be or it's like it's hard because you've you've known these people for so long but like Really listen to your heart more, you know what I mean? Because your intuition might be screaming at you that these people are not right for you anymore and that you can go down a different path if only you're brave enough to go down this different path. So Southern of Cups, so it's time to do some soul searching and really think about this and weigh these options, you know what I mean? But do follow your heart and do what's right for you on a soul level, even if no one else agrees with it. Like this could be something crazy, like, I mean, not crazy, but like it could be something like you want to go to art school and like everyone in your family has gone to like law school or something and it's just kind of expected that you should do that and then you're going to surprise your family and be like, you know what, actually I want to go to art school or actually like I want to be a musician, like I want to, I want to study, I want to study music, you know, like I want to, I want to go get a degree in music and be like a music, you know, like an engineer or something. It's like, do what's right for you. Um, listen to your own intuition because I feel like there's people around you that like cloud your, your intuition. Like they, they disagree and you kind of just like listen to them or you go along with it. And it's kind of saying, it's like, 
this isn't this isn't for them it's not their life it's it's your life it doesn't have to make sense to anyone but you um so so please keep that in mind um and you know i think some i think a lot of you i get like the sense of like nervousness like what are they going to think what are they going to say and it's like it doesn't matter what they think or say like they're going to judge they're going to try to you have toxic people around you that have tried to control you and judge you and keep you down and it's like they're going to keep doing that you know what i mean like, what, what's the difference? They're already doing that. Like, so what's the difference if you say, hey, I want to do something that you didn't expect me to do? Like, like I want to I want to go to school for something else than what I originally planned on going to school for. Like, that kind of energy, you know? They're, um, like, let them judge. It's, it's their, it's not their life. It's your life. So really be true to yourself. That's so important. And once you open up to that and really get on that path, that's when... You're going to finally start meeting the right people. Like, I think a lot of the people that you know right now are not even going to be in your life a year or two from now, but in a good way. It's like you're going to change your perspective and you're going to start looking at them differently and you're going to start recognizing how toxic and how controlling a lot of the people around you are. And you might be cutting out family, friends, uh, lovers even. And and it's like it's going to be scary. It's going to be different it's it's gonna be lonely you might be in this period of limbo for a little bit but as you get on your soul path like you're gonna feel a sense of freedom like you're gonna feel happiness about this new energy that's coming in and you're gonna have like that's when your soul group is gonna be able to find you and recognize you because you've got all these toxic people around you that are almost like almost like drowning them out almost like black and I don't want to say like blackening your energy but they're almost like shadows you know what I mean like where you have this powerful light and like the, the people around you kind of have like this shadowy type energy and it's like your your soul group can't see you because you have all these these toxic kind of leeches around you, these controlling people around you. So you need to cut yourself cut them out and free yourself. Um yeah. But yeah, once once you're being true to yourself and you get on your path and you free yourself of these people, like you're gonna start really manifesting you know, true love, your soul group, like your creative path, like doors are going to open for you. You just have to be brave enough to take that leap of faith and stand up for yourself and what you believe in and what you genuinely want. You know what I mean? Like when you do this soul searching, you need to not think about what other people want. Don't think about what your family wants or what your friends want or what your lover wants. Like this is your life. It's about what you want. What is your ideal career? What is your ideal relationship? What is your ideal friendships? Like, you know, like you really need to cut other people out of the equation and ask these questions. Otherwise you're just going to spend your life in living in someone else's shadow. It's not, it's not, you know what I mean? Like you're never really going to be able to find your soul group or be your true self. Like it's, it's lonely and you don't want to you know what I mean? Like it's, it's so worth it to take this, this leap of faith and go down a new creative path and just be true to yourself. Like it's going to bring, it's going to open so many doors for you, just so much potential. And if this is your reading and you would like a paid private reading, my email address is below. It is in the description box. It is dragon enchantress at AOL.com. So you can just copy and paste it. Any donations are appreciated too. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. My PayPal and Cash App are also below. So yeah, you're going to want to do some, some soul searching here with the Seven of Cups. But really, again, be honest with yourself and be true to your heart. And, you know, you're, you're kind of like, I think some of you are like afraid. Like, what if what are they, they going to say that's, that, that's so out there? That's so, or like maybe you kind of want to cut someone out, but you're like, oh my gosh, like I don't want to. I don't, maybe they haven't done anything that bad. Like, I don't, maybe they have good intentions. Like, I don't know if I want to hurt them, but it's like your intuition is like, no, this person needs to go. You know, like, you know, like your body is telling you this person does not feel right for you. Like you don't want them in your life. It doesn't really matter why. The point is it's your life and you, you get to choose like who you allow into your world. Do you know what I mean? Like if sometimes people just don't resonate with you, it doesn't mean that, that they're a bad person. They just might not resonate. It might just be time for them to go. Um, but yeah, don't worry about what they're going to say. Cause of course they're going to, they're going to judge, of course, you know, and they're going to have deep down, they're going to wish they had the courage to do what you're doing. You know, some people are probably jealous of your creativity. And so they want to, 
sort of control you and hold you down and like stunt your create your creative side because they're jealous that they can't do that themselves. Like if you're an artist or something and you have like friends or family or like a lover that's like saying your artwork isn't very good or like, oh, you can't make a career out of your artwork or, oh, you can't make a career out of being a musician or something like that. It's really just jealousy because they see your talent and they know that they don't have that talent themselves. Um, so, so just, just do you, you know what I mean? Like you will lose people, but that's for the best. Like you're losing toxic people that can't, you know what I mean? Like they're, they're just going to start falling away. And that's a really good thing because you're going to open yourself up to the right people. Finally. So it's like, you know, that you feel alone around these people, you know what I mean? Like you already know that. So it's like, why, why waste your life on people, on these people? Like it's not who cares what they think? They're not resonating with you on a soul level, so it really doesn't matter what they think. Like, it's really time to set yourself free of them. So this is kind of like the same story. I hate telling the same story, but I think maybe you guys are still kind of, maybe some of you are still struggling with this because it's pretty much the same energy I got a couple weeks ago, but it's a little bit, I mean, you've come a little bit farther. You're really considering this now more than you were before. Um, I feel some movement. I also feel the social in invitation coming up. Um, a, a celebration coming up of some sort. So you're further along, but it's pretty much the same story. Um, so I'm sorry, the cards are just repeating that. But but keep in mind that I'm channeling your energy. So if, if, if something changes drastically, then I should be getting it in the cards. You know what I mean? So it's kind of up to you. Like my viewers, it's up to you what story I tell. Like if you text your ex or something, then that's probably going to come up in a couple weeks from now. Because that's, that's, you know, energy shifts. Like I'm going off of your energy. This isn't like... You know what I mean? Like, this isn't like, oh, this is, I mean, this is destiny. I don't want to say it's not destiny, but I mean, this is all your energy. So keep that in mind that your energy is, it's up to you. Like the, the actions, the choices you make, if you go down a different path, then that's the path I'm going to be channeling in a couple of weeks, you know? But I think some of you are still struggling. Like you want to, you know, it's right for you, but there's still some fear of just being alone or fear of the unknown. Three of swords. Yeah. Fear of heartbreak. I feel like some of you are like afraid that if you go down this other path, because Page of Pentacles is like a new start. So a new start with hobby, careers, new new career, new um, going to school, something, some kind of new, something, some new, new venture regarding um, finances or, um, you know, interests or hobbies, careers, something like that. And you're like afraid that someone's going to leave you alone or someone's not going to understand understand it but it's like this is for you you need to just go down this path you know what I mean like this the people in your life are just not if, if they're holding you back they're just not worth it you know what I mean like you really can have the kind of life and love that you want and you can get out of financial issues as well I see someone moving yeah you're moving forward it's kind of slow but you, you are moving forward, it looks like. Anything to say about love here? Ace of Pentacles. The Hermit. Yeah, I feel like there's going to be a period where you kind of focus on something regarding like career or hobbies or finances because that's coming out a lot. But then I feel like as you do that, so maybe maybe this creative pursuit is going to give you a new sense of confidence. Like maybe it's like art or music or um, going to school or some, just something that you love. And people, I feel like it's something different though. I feel like it's something that it's not like being like a doctor or a lawyer or like a traditional career. It's like, I want to, it's like, I want to teach Ricky or I want to, um, I want to get on YouTube or I want to, you know what I mean? It's like some kind of untraditional path, but it's right for you. And as you do this, I feel like you actually do have some finances coming in from this. If you're true to this and you, you do it right. Um, I also feel like you have this new start coming in. Like, yeah, you have like a new life, a lot of doors opening for you once you take this leap of faith. So there's some kind of creative pursuit. And if you if you follow it, I think it's going to bring you abundance. There's going to be a good balance. You're going to be the empress, emperor or empress, male or female. You know, this is this is this is abundance. This is power. This is, yeah, getting past devil energy. King of Wands. Could be a toxic fire sign around too that you need to watch out for. Or someone with fire. Yeah, someone with fire in their, in their chart. 
that might try to hold you back and make, give you, make you feel self-doubt. Could be a toxic person that wants to make you feel self-doubt and you need to be stronger than that. You're going to have justice, though, for this person. This could be a family member, a friend, a lover. Um, this king of wands that, that hurt you or that kind of dragged you down and tried to control you, you're going to have justice. Some kind of justice is going to come in where this person is going to have some pretty bad karma for what they've done. And you're going to be in the public eye. So this could be some, this could be like an ex or like someone that's, or like a family member, a friend that was like, oh yeah, go ahead and pursue music, but you're never going to make more than, you're not going to make any money doing it. Good luck. Or like, like a family member that's like, you know what, if you don't go to school, like you need to get out of my house. Like, um, or if you don't do this or you don't do that, you need to get out of my house. Like that kind of energy. And then you're going to like be in the public eye and have success. And there, then this person that was jealous and insecure and trying to control you and trying to judge you is, you know, like you're going to have the last laugh. You're, you're going to be 10 steps ahead. Six of Wands. Yeah, like Queen of Cups energy where you're just, you're going to have, you know, maturity, loyalty, stability. Like you're going to be your true self. You're going to be able to, to open yourself up emotionally because you... You probably can't open yourself up emotionally too much now because you don't have good people around you. But when you have good people around you, you're going to start opening your heart chakra more and being in the public eye. And this person's going to, they're, they're, they're going to be wrong about you. You know what I mean? Like they try to hold you back, but they're going to be wrong and you're going to be successful and they're not going to be successful at all. Yeah. And this, this is the creative path, the, the creative arts. It really does feel like the right path for you, whatever this is. It's like a very untraditional career. You need to be strong and, and feisty and fiery and stick, stand your ground. Cause again, people are going to try to drag you down and you probably have a great destiny to be honest. Cause if I'm getting all these cards, like Usually people that have great destinies like that, like end up as, as hard, as much as it sucks, like they end up struggling a lot because there's a lot of people that are jealous. Like they can feel that energy. They, they it's like, it's like telepathically almost energy wise. They feel some sense of jealousy that they don't have that great destiny. Um, and it's like, you know, if you've noticed that, like think about like famous musicians and artists and people like they've all had like abusive like childhoods and relationships and then they take that energy and they they teach other people how to heal and how to recognize that energy and how to set boundaries for themselves you know what I mean like it's that kind of energy where you're you know you need to get in alignment with your destiny with your creative path you need to stop playing it small you need to stop holding back and caring what other people think like you, you need to get on this creative path. Cause I feel like for this, for a lot of you, this creative path could be music or art or whatever it is. This could have been a path that you were meant to go down years ago. And it's like, now is the next best time. Like you still have the chance to do it, but I don't feel like this door is going to be open forever. Eventually it's going to be a lot harder for you to do it. Like if it's like music and you were meant to do it in like, just, just for an example, say with music and you're meant to do it in your 20s and now you're in your 30s it's like yeah you can still do it but it's like you don't I mean as you get older it's like you have less energy so it's not it's just not the same it's like you can still do it the door is still open but you don't want to procrastinate and if you're thinking like I know some people self-sabotage um by using the excuse of and I'm, I'm not blaming anyone for doing that I'm sure I've done that a million times I'm sure all of us have but some people kind of self-sabotage by using the excuse of, oh, I don't have the money for that. Like, oh, I really want to go, I really want to study music, but I don't, I can't afford to do that. Or I can't afford to take art classes. Then don't take art classes. Don't, you know what I mean? Like go on YouTube and look up voice lessons and do that for an hour a day. That's free. There's so many resources out there that are completely free that can get you started on your path. You know what I mean? get a notebook and write some songs. Like you don't have to go take a professional, you know, songwriting class. Like you can, but buy a book on songwriting, which is like 10 bucks. Like most people can afford that. Um, you know, artwork, like go, go out in nature and like, you know, just, just do something creative. You know what I mean? Like you don't need a lot of money for this. So don't, don't sabotage or find excuses to put it off. You have to break the energy of procrastination, Otherwise, you're going to find yourself like five, 10 years from now, and you're going to be like, crap, that was my destiny. That was what I came here on earth. That, that's, what I, that's what I came to earth to do. And I let these toxic people stop me from doing it. I really feel like, 
Okay, this is going to sound kind of crazy, but there is, so there's different realms. There's like the angel realm, there's um, the gods and goddesses, like the Norse realm, like the fairy realm. Um, there's, there's all, there's like probably thousands of different realms. But I feel like you're from like the fairy realm, or I feel like you're from some sort of free spirited creative realm. And I feel like your family or your friends or some like some people around you feel like they're from like a darker realm, if that makes sense. Because I see your energy like astrally and it's like you have like this light, like this free spirited light creative energy about you and like the people around you have like. They're not like shadow people, I don't think, but they have like shadowy, like dark souls, I guess. Like they're from like a lower realm, I feel like, like more of like one of the toxic realms. Um, I know that sounds weird, but they're, they're blocking you. They're, they're blocking you from your, your destiny, from your creative path, from what you came here on earth, came here to earth to do. So it's going to be a battle. I'm not going to lie. Like when you get on this creative path, you're going to have, you might piss some people off. You might have some family members that would be like, oh, hell no, like you're, you're my kid. You're, you have to go to law school. That's what your brothers and sisters are doing. What are you thinking going to art school? Argue, screw it. Like argue, get through it. You know what I mean? Like this is your life. It's worth, it's worth fighting for. This is everything. This is worth the fight. It's worth the arguments. Um, it's worth it to, you know, it's, it's like that Tracy Chapman song, you know, you've got to make a decision or we've got to make a decision, leave tonight or live and die this way. Let those words stick with you. Leave tonight or live and die this way. Some of you need to make that impulsive choice. And again, full disclaimer, I'm not responsible for anything that you do or do not do as a result of the reading. Readings are for entertainment purposes only. You are responsible for your choices. I'm not responsible for anything you do or don't do. But some of you, I would recommend if this were me and I were in this energy, I would try to make a bold move and just leave, honestly. Even if it meant that I had to go to, if I had to go rent a room from someone or if I had to go travel or if I had to live on someone's couch for a while, I honestly, if you're in like a toxic family situation, like just, just go just even honestly, whatever it takes, like this is your life. You need to get away from these people because they're dimming your light and they're actually blocking your soul group from coming in because they're so toxic. They're straight up blocking your, like your soul group cannot recognize your energy because you have these dark people around you that are dimming your light. So like if you were to go to like a fair or something and you see a soul group member, but you have all these toxic people around you, they can't recognize you because they're like, they, they, they're like almost mixing your energy up with your, um, with these people that are around you. Does that make sense? So you need to set yourself free and you're meant to be here on earth. Like you're meant to survive this. You're meant to, you're meant to have a great destiny as like a musician or an artist or some type of creative field. Like that's your destiny, but you have to get on track with it. Now, this isn't something that can wait. This is a portal that's open and we have it like all planets, um, are no planets are retrograde right now. All planets are moving forward right now, which is very rare. And I think it's only going to last like four or five more weeks. So honestly, if you can make changes in that time, that'd be amazing. Like you need to just go, like just, just do the thing you're afraid of doing. Just travel, just, just get out, just get out of this toxic situation as, as whatever you can do to get out of it. You know what I mean? Like, even if it means you have to live on someone's couch for a little bit, it's, it's worth it to get out of, to get away from these people. You know what I mean? Like your life needs to start and it's not going to start if you stay in this energy. Like they're trapping you. They're, they're putting you in chains. They're keeping you stagnant. Like you have to break free and it's going to be a battle. You have to push past the fear. Like you can be afraid, but you have to push past the fear and be brave anyway. Um, some of you have been kind of like brainwashed to be submissive and you need to stand up. Now you really have to stand up for yourself. You really have to just, just argue it if you need to, and just say, you know, like, no, this is my life. And you have to stick to that no matter what. Um, you have to really do what's right for you now. And it's, it's going to be worth it. The path, you're going to have so many doors open once you get away from these toxic people. Once you are true to yourself and you go down the creative path that you want to go down, like you're going to have so many doors open. You're going to have so much love and so much abundance coming in because you're clearing your energy up. Um, and again, this could be like a toxic, like person, like one person, this could be family, this could be friends, 
could be be like a toxic way of thinking even but there's you've got to free yourself of this and move forward finally because there's a portal open now but it's not going to stay open forever so anyway like i said if this reading resonates and you want a private reading my email is below any donations are appreciated and um, please subscribe if it resonates thanks for watching